Good afternoon. You're watching Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, July 6, 2016, and we're very excited to have with us Lawrence. One, two, three. For someone, that perfect girl Who can take our hands and up or save the world But I'm a little unusual Because you see, I seek a different type of thrill From my romantic fantasy And I must say, I'm looking your way You seem to like me, baby That you give me all the signs Do you want to do nothing with me? 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 Do you want to do something with me tonight? I put on my finest sweatpants And I order you pants I would be living our dreams As our love grows What an intimate occasion You and me in HBO Till morning night So wrong and so right So say you want it, darling Cause you know I want it too And there's just one thing that I wanna do Do you wanna do nothing with me? 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 Yeah. 
shrinks your food Cause the jury see law, but I know the ruling And now I'm hanging on your way like it's something like God And I'm wishing that I never would have been so kind So I'm not even gonna ask you That sounds great. Hey. Sounds awesome Thank in here. You. I want to ask you guys about uh, being brother and sister. How is the chemistry in like the band? Does that have something to do with writing? Does it have anything to do with touring? Like, does that get in the way at all, or is it even a blessing? Maybe chemistry. Even? Yeah, I chemistry mean, wise, hmm. like yeah, we yeah. have chemistry. <laughs> um, Clyde just like has to listen to what I say, and then like we're all good. So does that does that work well with you? Clyde? Yeah, no, that's pretty much how it is. Mm -hmm. No, I think that uh, you know, well, she and I write all the music together, mm -hmm. but then kind of on tour, we're all. I feel like we're all sort of have a sibling dynamic. We're all yeah. good friends. And I think we've managed to avoid a lot of the classic pitfalls of the the sibling rivalries just because we're all so on the same page. But uh, it's fun because I think we all can kind of look at each other and know exactly what we're talking about at any given moment, which is cool. Yeah. That's really cool, too. Is, and, and with touring with this this amount of you know, large band here. You have the 15 passenger in like a trailer, correct? Is it, is it get uncomfortable? Is it get pretty annoying or kind of tight quarters sometimes? Or is it not that we bad? We've figured out a lot of different ways to like sleep in the van. So yeah. we discovered if you like go under the seats <laughs> and you can, you can sleep and just make sure you tell everyone so no one like steps on you when you're getting up. So, so the answer is yes, it's <laughs> very uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I mean, we, we make it work. We make it work. Yeah, I saw you were building out that trailer a little bit. What did yeah. you end up doing? I saw, like, a live video on your Facebook. About right. That. Yeah, I probably <laughs> am the worst person to speak to that, but uh, with the help of Jordan, our saxophone player, and his dad particularly, shout out to Michael Cohen, uh, <laughs> Sumner and Sam, and I was just kind of there as a cheerleader. They built this awesome... Uh, what would you call it, a frame inside yeah, we, the trailer? Yeah, we basically built a frame out inside the trailer okay. and then um, attached a net to it so we can have a second level for storage inside. Okay, cool. So that we built a bed in the back of the van. We're like slowly okay. but surely Getting finding it. out what the hell we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds great so far, man. You guys can think Zibit is watching this, we need your help. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little pit my ride action would be nice, huh? Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> sounds great, man. You guys can roll on that next one whenever you're ready. Sweet. This song is called Where It Started From. Can we take a minute? Pretend it all is just the same. How did so when you're in it? If anything has really changed, and I don't know it's cool, yeah, it's Just one night But when the time comes Could we take it back To where it started from Could we take it back To where it started from If we let it
my witches forget it If we don't choose to make it stay And I know this hazy in between is like a confusing loom Say dream But when the time comes Could we take it back to where it started from Could we take it back To where it started from So you guys like uh, shredding on rock band recently on the uh, internet there. I want to know who who's the best out of everyone here. Who do you? Is there like? No oh, the bass. I was the best oh, by far. I don't think I don't think, I don't think you want to ask that question. Uh -oh, you know it. Don't even start. <laughs> There's all massive right. rivalry between those two in the band. If that isn't clear already, <laughs> there's all kinds of bets being made constantly. <laughs> That's great. We're not what, even gonna go there. Perfect. That's true. All right, too too deep, too deep. All right, what else do you guys do in your downtime? Like when you're on tour? Because I know there's a lot of you. Garage, garage, what's that called? Garage band, the opposite of rock band. Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero, Should we tell them about Lexicon? I feel like that's a good one. So we got this massive game going. It's basically like Word Assassin. So everyone in the band, we pick like a friend from outside the band to assign everybody in the band 
another person in the band and the word or phrase that they have to get that person to say. Okay. And so we're just constantly, like, secretly trying to get each other to say these words. And then when someone says it, that person yells lexicon, and then everyone kind of freaks out. I'm not very good at it. Gracie's very good I'm definitely at it. the best at it, I would say. Right? Everyone, is, everyone agrees? Gracie everyone. ruins friends. Um, Mandatory. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I think that you guys think I'm just really, like, manipulative, but I'm just very good at this game. Yeah. Like, I think I'm just really... The point really... of the game is to be manipulative. Right, the object yeah. of the game is right. to manipulate other people. All right, people. whatever. Some people are <laughs> still a little bit sore over it, but, you know. Yeah, I... I've, we're early in the game. Yeah. In this tour, we're early in the game. The no only one's thing gotten out. No, I got Mark out. I had uh, to get Mark to say muckraker, mm. and, he, and, he, and I got him to say it. But as of yet, everything <laughs> else is still completely secret. So, so, so Mark's the only loser if we're keeping score. So Mark, like, now he can't. Can he still, like, try to now get you guys to say stuff? Or he can't? Mark oh, tells okay. me what his word was, and now oh, and so he and I, I both know what it is, and we're working together now to get someone else in the band to, to say whatever Mark's thing was supposed to be. Okay, so then what, what happens when you all join the same team? Is that, is that like... Is that whoever is the one last... Person? Yeah, the oh, okay, I see, I see. So to answer your question, we literally do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not we're doing stupid word games. That's great, though. At least, at least it keeps you entertained, right? While you guys yeah. are driving around. Long drives. Cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, you guys can roll on that one whenever you're ready. I'm sick of hearing songs about the boy who was ignored and the girls who did him wrong. They said that he was shy and they claimed he wasn't manly. Oh, how that made him cry. But now he's rich and famous, such a pity, ain't it? They missed their opportunity to catch a rising star. But to me, it seems obnoxious. Mr. Singer, are you not just insecure? And now you're singing Why'd they have to be so superficial? And now you wish they'd be more superficial It seems to me to be it's so artificial So go write your song Just know that you're the superficial one Mr. Fultz can take a pass Cause it was for so damn angry And they said to kiss his ass You know I can't so mad myself Cause little pen can get away with shit That I can't nobody else Those are for all the other losers The beggars now the choosers Who'd have thought that you would be the coolest kid in class? And you're laughing in their faces, or the chance that they've wasted. Cause the nice guys don't always finish last. And now you're saying, why'd they have to be so superficial? And now you wish they'd be more superficial. It seems to me to be so artificial. So go and write your song. Superficial You're so superficial Just know that you're the superficial one You're so superficial Who are you to say that she's not better off? She could be married with some children to a doctor in Vermont And if you're thinking about these girls, it's hypocritical You're not out of their league if you're still stuck in their world And if things for me go well you know I thank those who have helped me And I won't punish no one else Cause I don't need your damn regret I might forgive, I might forget Cause I'm the bigger man Except to maybe say go fuck yourself So why'd they have to be so superficial? And now you wish they'd be more superficial It seems to be to be so artificial so go write your song, but it's you, you're the superficial one You're so superficial, oh, it's you who is the superficial one You're so superficial 
watching Audio Tree Live with Lawrence. Sounding great in here, guys. It really is. Thanks. Thank awesome. you, man. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, I was wondering, you did all of you go to Brown University or just like a select or how'd that work out? I graduated from high school a year ago and okay. I'm not in school right now. So Okay. I, Other than Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I also did not go to Brown. I okay. like to pretend I did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just childhood friends with Clyde and Gracie. Cool. Yeah, so me and Gracie grew up with Jordan. Mm -hmm. And then Sam is actually, on drums, is someone who was a really good friend of mine in high school and middle school, a couple years older than me. And it was really when he like <laughs> went to Brown that I was like, because I trusted him and I looked up to him, I was like, oh, that could be a cool place. So then I visited Aww. him at Brown. Aww. <laughs> and so uh, I ended up going to Brown and then... Through Sam, sort of, I met Johnny and then met everyone else. So most of the band is brown, but some childhood ties, too. That's great. Did you guys, like, when you're writing, like, just going to school, like, full-time, obviously, right? Was it was that affecting the music or affecting getting you guys going? Because having so much in your plate at one time? Or? It was definitely interesting for us to try to write together when we weren't living in the same place. Okay. Um, I would make these, like, vocal demos you're and amazing. send them, like... <laughs> to Clyde, and then he would send back things he was working on, so we just had, like, a long email chain going. Gracie's were like, because for me, I would just play piano and sing when I wrote a <coughs> song. Gracie wasn't as proficient at piano at the time. She now is. She would send me, yeah, these massive, like, ten-part harmonies <laughs> to just be like, this is just sort of how the song's going to go. I'm like, that's, like, way cooler than what it will sound like when we finish <laughs> it. so awesome. Um, but, yeah, I mean, college was awesome for us because we because we all went to the same school together, mm -hmm. most of us. We were able to just, like, play every weekend at parties on campus and, like, really get our chops together live and, and play a ton of parties and, like, gain a big following mm -hmm. on that campus. Yeah. So it was honestly a great, like, jumping off point so that as soon as we graduated, we didn't have to start from scratch. We could kind of hit the ground running. That's great. Yeah, I saw in an interview you mentioned about like playing parties and like playing kind of house show type areas. What is that the difference between now what you guys are doing, kind of like touring around and doing more venues compared to the parties like that you were playing before? Is there a huge difference as far as crowd goes or reaction? Yeah, there's definitely a huge yeah. difference in a lot of ways. I mean, people aren't wearing togas. Right. Well, sometimes. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I mean, the cool thing about playing at a college show is there's going to be like a bunch of really psyched potentially drunk people there like <laughs> ready to have a great time yeah and like all you have to do for the, especially <laughs> the kind of music we play is just like hit and everyone's like right there with you mm -hmm. whereas like when we're going from city to city like we really have to earn everybody's interest because mm -hmm. it's not as sort of raw raw of an environment off the bat on the other hand you know we came up playing all these college parties where we couldn't hear a thing. We were playing in basements. There was no monitoring. We never had a chance to practice because a lot of the guys had already graduated. We were coming from different places. Mm -hmm. So in that way, like, I think that we're a way better band now because it was almost like standing in the on-deck circle with the donut on, and then we get to take it off and walk up to the plate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. I totally and I also think, though, one thing that is sort of the same is that we're trying to bring that same energy and vibe, and hopefully, you know, even though it's not a room full of college people mm -hmm. drunk in a sweaty basement. <laughs> yeah, we're hopefully trying to less sweat. <laughs> less. Hopefully a little less We've been sweat. trying to cut a down little less on the sweat, yeah. <laughs> But we try to like bring the same energy and eventually make it the same vibe at our shows anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the goal was to make the college basement parties the most sort of like professional college basement party <laughs> you've ever seen. And now we're trying to make our professional shows the most college basement <laughs> venue gig that you've ever seen. So we're kind of trying great. to meet them in the middle somewhere. That's cool. And I, and I know you also kind of grew up playing music as well, right? Yeah. So, so how does that work out in your family between the two of you? Your your parents musicians or? No, our parents are in the arts, but okay. um, our mom's a dancer and our dad's a writer, director. Um, mm -hmm. But I think our parents just played a lot of really good music around the house. Our dad, yeah. Ken, is a pretty good musician. And our, Very um, good musician. Yeah. Uh, all right. Very and our, yeah. and our, <laughs> our grandparents are really good musicians. Yeah. Um, I think we were just, like, always listening to really cool. good music. So yeah, they're totally cool with you just being out of high school and just being, like, going off and doing yeah. the arts. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, our dad understand. dropped out of law school, and it's, he thinks, like, the best decision he ever made. So that's an incredibly <laughs> that's small sample size and yeah. not probably an accurate one, but... Yeah. We're not saying anything about it. <laughs> Still, it sounds yeah. great. Yeah. And you guys can roll on that next one whenever you're ready. <clears throat> it's called Oh No. This is our Jewish gospel song. <laughs> It's so because 
Pleasure, you guys sound great in here. Thanks. Thank you so much. Also, they're playing Chubas tonight, so make sure you go check that out. They're on tour for the new album Breakfast. You can pick that up wherever you get your uh, music at. Uh, they'll be on tour till the end of July, so make sure you go and check them out if they're in your area. Also, the session will come out in a few weeks, so make sure you download that. Help support us and support the band. I also want to thank my lighting and camera guys, everyone here at Audio Tree, including the engineers and everyone that helps put all this together. And until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Woo. Thanks. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm not a loser.